One of the most common mistakes the average home sewer makes is to rush home from the store and in her eagerness to start sewing, she lays this fabric out on the table and cuts out her dress without having properly prepared the fabric for sewing. When she does this, she misses one of the most important steps in sewing. And no matter how meticulous she is with her sewing, how perfect the stitches, the dress may never hang correctly. Now today, we're going over these simple but important steps in preparing your fabric for sewing. This is the fabric we've chosen for our demonstration. I bought it just as many of you would, even though it's not sand -verized. In fact, the clerk couldn't even tell me if it had been pre-shrunk. So that will be one of our problems, to shrink the fabric so the dress will remain in fit after it's made. Then you'll notice when these two selvages are held together that one of the torn edges is longer than the other. This means that the manufacturer has pressed this fabric off grain. And we will need to straighten it before we cut out our dress. Now both of these problems can be taken care of with one process. Of course you all know what happens when you make a dress out of fabric that has not been pre-shrunk. And these skirts will show you what happens when you make a dress out of fabric where the grain has not been straightened. Well, this skirt was made from fabric as it came from the store. Nothing was done to straighten the grain line. And as you can see, this side turned out all right, but this side didn't. Now, of course, you're saying that's striped material so you can readily see it. But even though it were solid color, this side of the skirt would hang smoothly and correctly with the figure, but this side would not. If your skirt pokes out on one side, it's often due to faulty grain line. Now this other skirt was cut from the same bolt of material, but we took time to straighten the grain. I think you can readily see that both sides of this skirt hang correctly. We've been talking about grain line, so let's just see what causes it. These threads that run along with the selvage are known as the lengthwise grain of your fabric. And they are usually a little heavier or more tightly twisted than the other threads in the fabric. When we speak of grain line, we're referring to these lengthwise threads. But we can't ignore the threads that run across the fabric, which are known as the crosswise grain. They run along with this torn edge of our fabric. The thing for you to remember is that before you cut out a dress, you should have these two sets of threads at right angles to each other. Not this way or this way. Once in a while, you will buy a piece of fabric where these two sets of threads are at right angles. And one easy way to check this is to line it up with your table. If the selvages and the torn edges line up with the two edges of the table, you know that you have the threads in place for cutting. But now, what are we going to do with this piece of fabric that is obviously off grain? Let me brief you on this process with a small piece of coarse fabric. In this magnified view of the fabric, you can see we've removed one lengthwise and one crosswise thread. 
Then when I place this right angle along the intersection of these two thread lines, you can see that it's off grain. Now here's what we'll do. To take care of this, we'll put it in clear water. And leave it there until it's completely soaked. Now the purpose for this is to let the threads relax and go back into their natural position, or let them uh, go back to a right angle position. Leave it there until it's thoroughly wet, and then let them drip dry. We never wring fabric when we're shrinking it and straightening the grain, or you'll get permanent wrinkles that are, uh, that are uh, difficult to handle. We'll blot this to speed up the process. And now we're ready to press it. As I press it, you'll notice that I lift the iron up and down rather than slide it across the fabric. This will make sure that the threads of the fabric stay in their position. The sliding action of the iron could push the threads off grain again.